Guys, thanks for joining me. This is a very defined face stone, a pottery artifact. It has surface images in it, as well as outside carvings. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at a few of those with you today right now. So we've got some different light set up, but you can see the small little indention for the mouth and the nose, and then there's a large carving in there for his eye. And we're gonna play around with some of the lights, like I say. I'm gonna take this one down maybe, and even turn this one off. And get all the way into the dark here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for joining me for this. You can see a couple different carvings for eyes. You can see these circles, and you'll notice that there's a large carving right here. And then you can see the portrait there of the person with his little chin down here. Let's see how that works. It's got this big carving here, and then there's another one right there. This is a piece of pottery, so it's very heavy. So forgive me if I shake around a little bit. Try to do this the best I can for you. Hopefully you guys are seeing this portrait. This guy does have the big bird hat on, and then he's other other portraits as well up on the top here. So I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit for this one. This one was gathered just uh, about a week ago. This has got the red beak and the eye of the bird. See his pointy beak there, and then there's a character inside here. There's his eye and his nose, and then he's got a mouth in here somewhere. Different lights help us see it, but I remembered this character from before. There's carvings and embellishments and things all over this. Hopefully you guys can see some of those. Some of the stuff does take practice, so if you're not seeing it right away, we understand. Just uh, take a look or you can, there's some much easier artifacts to see as well. Ones that have very defined portraits on them, such as this one. So if you guys aren't seeing that one, then you know, there's other videos that, that have some more defined ones in there. I get some complaints from people who are into this that say, hey, why don't you go back to the high level? And the reason why I'm not doing the high, high level stuff right now is because I want to share this with you guys. I want you to be able to recognize it. And so you kind of have to start off slow. That's how we all started off. It's a carving for an eye right here in this piece of pottery. And in this form, this white may represent a beard. So you can see how this is a portrait or a head statue of a human being. There's the carving for the eye, the nose, and then the mouth right there. And on every edge and every corner of the stone, we'll be able to do that. You may be seeing different images as well because this is a multifaceted complex style of art. There are images all over it. The really great one though, is this one on the outside here. It has quite a few of the characteristics or the motifs, you can see the shelf eye here represented. So this is the eye that's under a ledge. And then you can see the very large carving for the eye in this character right here. And I can trace that out for you if you need, but I'm pretty sure you guys are seeing it. You see the carving right there, all the way across. And then all the embellishments and things inside there for the eye. Go ahead and give a zoom in on that for us so you can see those little carvings. Take a good look at that eye. Pretty amazing, right? Hopefully you guys see that one, and I think I might have to move on to the next one because this one's getting really heavy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check out one more. I have a very small one here, which would be nice. Give my hand a break. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. Hope everything's going good for y'all. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this one. So you can see that there's just a small little portrait in there. And that's fantastic because that third eye is coming in very well right now. Excited about that. This is actually my second shot of this video and this wasn't coming out as well as I wanted it to in the first one. So you can see the diamond shape right there with the spot. That is the eye on the forehead of this person. This is a common motif in American art. And you can see that there is a small little profile or portrait. See how this section of the stone is smooth. I'm going to go ahead and turn this light back on over here. Hmm, more light's actually not helping, so let's go ahead and take that one off. So looking into the face of this person, if I can get her focused for us, you'll actually notice that there's a small hole and spot in there for the center of the person's eye. feel like it's not wanting to focus for me. That's okay, the third eye came out good. You can only get one eye at a time, apparently. <laughs> there is a small little 
hole though, I believe it's in there for this for this eye here. Sorry for the light changing around. Let's go ahead and take that back off and see if we can see it better here. It's very blurry for some reason. Sorry about that. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, now we're seeing it. So now you can see that hole in the center. It's right there, that little hole. So this is a portrait of a person with the left side profile. You can see their nose and their lips in there. And notice how the, the stone is smooth. So you can pull them away and then put their bring their face back out. Different shadows and lights help, so I'll go ahead and flip it around so that maybe you can be able to see some more of the facial features and carvings. So he's pointed up, you know. There's also just a small profile image on the top edge here. It's a very neat one. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few of the squirrel motifs real fast. I've found several more of these and really need to go ahead and update you guys with these. So of course we have our pottery version here. Some of these I'm not going to be able to pick up because they're extremely heavy, but you guys know the, the deal with the little squirrel girls. They have a, an eye and the nose and then the long straight back hair stuff here. This is a small version of that same one. So the little button nose and the carved eye and then that straight back hair. And so, you know, this, when you look at it like this, it's not it, but when you put it like this, it becomes that same squirrel motif. And that's what we're calling it, squirrel girl. That could be muskrat girl. I think muskrat's probably better. I have a bunch of them. Got a couple more right here. This one's a really nice one. This one's one of the red versions. So you can see how the nose sticks out and the carving for the eye that time. And it always has the same characteristics there. It's a really nice one. Sent out some packages today, guys. So if you emailed me for artifacts, they are on the way. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one real quick. This is a large arrowhead or hand ax shaped stone, but it also has carvings and embellishments for eyes, you can see. There's also a profile image of a person to the right with a large headdress. Now, if you're seeing the carving for this eye right here that I'm seeing, it goes all the way around and then the pupil's right in the middle there. There will also be, you know, the longest point sticking out will be a nose. And so we can go ahead and look up on top here for an eye somewhere. Looks like there's some carvings and things in here. There's also a large carving right here for an eye. You can see this diamond shape, the circle, with the spikes coming out of the top of it. That's a pretty, pretty one. You can see these little juts sticking out. Each one of these represents a portrait of a human. If we it, put it like this, you can see the circle, some of the paint still remaining, and the carving for the portrait here on the left-hand side. Looking at the whole section here, you can see that this would be a nose. Not sure if this will be the eye for this face. The eye may be further back, but again, another portrait, of course. All over it, all over this, there's so much. Just when you think you got it figured out, it throws you for another loop. You see these squares through the nose. A little kind of a square eye is what I mean. A little bit of a shelfy kind of carving there. You see that? And then the nose sticking out. And then usually just a small little indention or ripple for the lips. The way that you look at the art is you tilt the stone. And so if you're looking over the shoulder. Thank you guys for all the support. It's a little intimidating having over 500 subscribers now. Sometimes I feel like I gotta do a little bit better, <laughs> but I really appreciate you guys uh, supporting me. Thank you guys for all the new subs and everything. Be some more on-site stuff coming. So stay tuned for that. See you again soon. Bye-bye.